Okay, you might think I'm a bit crazy, but what I've decided to do is switch from a Windows PC for Blender to a MacBook Air M4 chip. So the newest MacBook Air, obviously there's a new one coming out, but this is the latest MacBook Air. So it's got the M4 chip base model. And let me just talk to you a little bit about why I decided to change and give you a little bit of, of reasoning behind it because it's a little bit of a uncommon choice. And you might be thinking of switching. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you the pros and the cons. And yeah, then you can make a decision for yourself. And I'm just going to talk a bit about why I decided to change. So let's talk a little bit about the pros and the cons of a MacBook Air for Blender. Okay, this is just specifically for Blender. There's obviously other reasons to get the MacBook Air, but I'm talking as a Blender user. I do a lot of Blender work. So I thought I would make this video and the channel is mainly Blender stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. So the pros of using a M4 Air MacBook, excellent CPU and integrated GPU efficiency. Okay, it is silent, fanless, and it has great battery life. Okay, so a lot of things. Yeah, one of the main reasons, can I be honest, is I want to be able to, to be a bit more portable with my, my workflow. Okay, I do a lot of work from a desk, but when you want to pick up your uh, Windows laptop and you want to go somewhere, it can be done but the thing is it's going to get hot if i want to work let's say i maybe want to do some 3d modeling from my bed okay it's not uncommon it, it's too hot to do it on even when it's charging you know the fans are on your lap it's too hot i live in a country that is hot most of the year so we have very very hot summers and not that cold winters so for me yeah it it's it, it i can't work i won't be able to to do any kind of blender blender work on my lap okay so yeah that is that is one of them with the macbook air it is fanless so it it, it will get a little bit warm but it's not going to get hot like a windows laptop number three i'm going to read it to you advanced architecture and apple integration okay so blend and apple i have got some kind of like integration agreement and it's it's basically the m4 chips are, are running very very well on blender okay so it's got improved gpu architecture dynamic caching Mesh shading, enhanced ray tracing support, deliver solid performance in creative workflows. And it is good for light to moderate work in Blender. Okay, so you're not going to, yeah, it, it can handle, to be honest, I've had it for about three weeks now, and it's able to handle everything I throw at it. Okay, I'm being honest now, it's it's just as good as, so for well, full disclosure, I don't have a RTX 4080 or a 5070 graphics card laptop. Mine is only a RTX 3050, which is probably one of the lower graphics card nowadays. You get some some pretty powerful stuff. So yeah, if probably to be honest, if I had an RTX 5070 laptop or a, even like a 40 4070, I probably wouldn't have upgraded or or changed to to the MacBook. To be honest, I probably would have stuck with that for for a while, but. Because my graphics card is not one of the top of the line or one of the most powerful graphics card, I just thought, well, I'm going to use the, the MacBook for other kind of things. So I decided to, to pick up the MacBook, like I said, and I've been using it for like three weeks. And I, like I said, I am very happy with it. I don't regret it at all. But let's get to some of the cons. The rendering times are a little bit slower than, a, than, than, than my RTX 3050. Okay. So obviously, the more complex scenes you're going to create, to obviously take even longer but for light to 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 not too complicated scenes it's not that much of a difference in my opinion and obviously with the macbook air being fanless it can throttle under under load so that will obviously that is why the the renders take a little bit longer okay so uh yeah if the thing is if you had to let's say unplug your laptop with a your windows laptop with an rtx 3050 or 3070 or 4070 or whatever uh, it's also going to struggle so that's the problem if you have a windows laptop with a rtx graphics card and you've got it plugged in then yeah all means you are good to go it's going to render fast but i can guarantee you if you unplug it and you're working off battery it's going to take i can guarantee that the macbook will actually outperform your windows laptop if they are both unplugged also, if you're doing a lot of animations, I don't do a lot of animations in Blender. I do a lot of just still kind of like just images. Then if you're doing a lot of animations, 
you are going to struggle with the, the MacBook, unfortunately. And like I said, I wanted to keep this. Yeah, I want to give you honest thoughts. I am not. This is not sponsored by anybody. This is just me giving you my opinion and why I decided to change to to the MacBook. I don't do just Blender stuff. So like I've got the YouTube channel. I need to edit the video. I need to do a lot of editing. And yeah, the same thing. If I want to edit on the go, it's not going to be. Yeah, if I want to edit on battery, basically with my Windows laptop, it's not going to work. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's not portable. I've got to edit at the desk. And sometimes I don't want to edit at a desk. So for me, the MacBook will be my main editing machine. So yeah, that is also, I want to do a lot more video editing. And I also want to try and steer this channel, not away from Blender stuff, but more kind of me talking and giving you some advice, experience, tips, tricks, all that kind of stuff. Not just a sit down tutorial, but more how to get three design jobs, how to, to, to grow your portfolio as an artist, all those kind of things. I, I want to just impart that kind of knowledge as well on this channel because a lot of you guys are artists, Blender users, you are creating portfolios, all that kind of stuff. I want to branch out the channel like that. I'm not going to just do like just tutorials anymore. And let me just read you some, some, yeah, some things on Reddit. So you can see real user insights from Reddit. Still lacking in cycles, render speed and value. M4 is, uh, yeah, renders approximately the same speed as a standard PC with RTX 3080 GPU and costs 3x more. Okay, and then rendering is about half as fast as the 4090, but using Blender for scene building is a dream on the M4. Okay, so, yeah, it's a, it's a trade-off. Like I said, if you were using probably the MacBook M1, I would probably say then maybe it's not worth it. But if you're thinking about buying a M4 Air, then I think, yeah, like I said, I have no complaints. Obviously, I'm not going to be selling my Windows laptop. So with the, the RTX 3050, I'll obviously keep it in case I need to do something a bit more powerful or if my, yeah, if I'm lacking extra power, if I need extra power, I need extra oomph with the, the, the MacBook might not handle such big scenes, then obviously I've got a backup. So yeah, but yeah, hopefully if you are on the fence about considering maybe switching, hopefully this video is just giving you a bit of insight onto maybe thinking about doing it or not. So hopefully this video is going to help you. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to sway your decision either way. It's just, I, I just thought I'm doing it. I've done it. And I thought I'd make a video. And yeah, I, can, uh, I guess I'm not the only one who's thinking about doing it. So yeah, if you're in the same position as me, hopefully this video is going to help you. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.